You already know, week three, Monday Night Football, my preview. Let's get to it. Everybody, it's your boy, Raven C. So, week three versus the Kansas City Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes. Lamar is 0-2 against Patrick Mahomes and Patrick Mahomes MVP Super Bowl champion. First time Lamar went against Patrick Mahomes 2018, he went into overtime. They won by three points. Lamar was a rookie, pretty much just ran the ball during it. When he came in, still kind of developing. But he still did his thing, all respects. He still did his thing. For that 2018 game, we know that's two years ago. He only, he only threw 147 yards, but, and got two TDs, and ran for 67 yards. And we took him to overtime. Now that was 2000. That was 2018, so last year. Last year, if you pay attention to that game, good game, another close game. They always, the Chiefs bring out their best because they know what the Ravens can do. Andy Reid taught John Harbaugh, so he knows what John Harbaugh is a great coach. He knows he is a great coach. But 2019, 33-28, Chiefs win. They killed us in that second half with 23 points. If it wasn't for that second half, it could have been a different game. But, so we're coming into this game, 2020. Ravens versus Chiefs. Now, they just put out a report about Sammy Watkins and concussion protocol, and that's gonna be interesting to see what they, how that's gonna turn out, because right now it is Thursday. Got all the way to Monday. I will be shocked if I don't see him play. But, just talking about 2020, we already went to the past and everything. Got MVP versus MVP, Super Bowl champion versus probably could be this year, Super Bowl champion Lamar. People gotta respect Lamar. Lamar and Patrick Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes is the future of the NFL. This is not for us Raven fans. We already know. If you be real with yourself. We know we're going to see Kansas City a lot. And vice versa. Kansas City knows they're going to see the Ravens a lot. Might as well just start respecting each other. But Ravens still going to be that dog. We still going to get them all we got. Like we know Kansas City is going to give us all they have. This game is very interesting. I'm going to go for Kansas City because... Last time we played Kansas City, they did not have Hill. They didn't have Cheetah. I believe they did not have Cheetah. And we and they still won just by three. But they didn't have Cheetah. Obviously, they didn't have the rookie they have now. But this year is different for as the Ravens defense when Patrick Mahomes torched them. 2018, that throw still to Tyreek Hill. Oh, my goodness. I still can't believe that. But this year is different. We got Calais Campbell, Derek Wolf. We got our rookies, PQ. I'm a huge fan of PQ. That dude is balling. And we got my, my dog, unfiltered, uncut, Marcus, Marcus Peters. But we got him. I believe he's going to get a pick. Unfortunately, Tavon Young went down. And I was when I seen the contract come out, I said contract. When I seen the schedule, I mean, come out, and I saw, I was like, man, we didn't have Tavon Young last year. 
and he is he is a game changer. He's small, but he is a pit bull. And I can't uh, I can't wait to I can't wait to just see them. I was like, man, I can't wait to see them. See all of them. Marcus Peters, Marlon Humphrey, Tavon Young, Jimmy Smith as a safety slash co- Oh, with Chuck. Oh, I was like, that is going to be a good game. Then behold, my dog got injured. Dang, I'm still hurting on that. I ain't mentioned that in the post, in my post video after after we played uh, the Texans, man, because I was like, I don't want to believe it. You know what I'm saying? But he's done for the year. So, Avery, yeah, shout out to Coach. Coach broke it down. He broke down how good and how Avery is. He's good. He's going to be okay. He's going to be okay. And everybody knows. Avery, and Avery's getting taught by two Pro Bowl cornerbacks. You can't be in a better place than where you are at for as getting taught by Marcus Peters, a ball hawk, and Marlon Humphrey. And he been with Marlon Humphrey since Alabama. So that right there is great, great, great news. But back to the game, back to the game. I'm just talking about the individual players. Monday night, but I hate waiting because on Sunday I'm gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna be watching games, and I'm sitting here gonna be like, man, it ain't my Ravens. I gotta wait. Monday, like, oh, I gotta go to work after work. Gotta sit there and wait, watch them talk about everybody else's game on Sunday. Then we get to the nitty gritty. Oh, it seems so far. But this game is very interesting. As I stated, the defense is completely different from what we had last year. I don't know that much about Kansas City's defense. I know they have a great pass rush from their last game with the Texans. I do not like our offensive line, but as the game went on, they got better and better protecting Lamar. And talking about Lamar. Lamar's game is so much, so much different from last year. This dude, he threw some dimes last year, but he is throwing more dimes this year, and it gets better and better each game. And us Ravens fans, we are literally spoiled because I can just talk about myself. First game, scored 30 some points against the Browns. I'm like, that's the Browns. I respect them. But it's the Browns. You know what I'm saying? It's like, my bad, Browns fans, but my bad. It's, it's facts. Y'all beat us that one time last year, but that was last year. But we scored 30 some points. And I'm like, they played okay. You know, first week, you know, preseason, no this and that. So. We get the Texans. I'm like, uh, offense was up and down. But then if you look at the score of 33 to 16, <laughs> you look at other teams, other teams ain't doing that. They ain't, that's back to back 30 some points, 30 plus points. We are spoiled. This game is gonna be 30 some points. I'm gonna give my prediction later, after, after I, I talk about the surprise weapons, I believe some some Raven fans we already know, but it's been going to national level. And talking about that JK, that run, if you seen my highlights, that last run he did, that was Ray Rice all the way. I seen I seen a uh, interview Ray Rice did the other day on one of the Baltimore Ravens. Um, radio stations and he was talking about how pretty much similar they are for his run style body type when he when when jk was running and old dude kind of bumped him and he was almost falling and he put his hand on the ground and did did ray rice did that and i was like oh my god that's so that's so ray rice like 
but J.K. is going to ball out this game. I, I believe it's going to be the J.K. show for his rushing. And for his the wide receivers, I believe it's going to be either Hollywood or I believe they're going to finally find We Raven fans, we've been waiting. Finally, let Dev DuVernay do his thing. First game, one catch, first down, right off the back. I believe it was like 12 yards. Last game, one catch, 19 yards. This dude is going to be special. He's, a, he's special. Lamar wanted to keep him under the radar. This game, I don't think he's going to be under the radar anymore. I believe, really, because they didn't, they didn't run JK a lot in the last first two games. Because we got so many monsters for that running back. But at the Ingram, everybody knows JK is up that next dude. And this game is going to be Ingram, JK. But I believe JK is going to get majority of, of the carries. Because that's where Kansas City showed their weakness at is in the run. And just got to get that pressure on my homes, man. Just got to get that pressure. And we, we lacking in that. The Ravens are lacking in that pressure. But I can't wait to, ah, man, hope, hopefully it's Debbie DuVernay's coming out party. Because the dude is special. Him in Hollywood is going to make some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful highlights and wins. Because they are going to go off. Man. Can't wait to see that. So, and then they held down, last week they held down Mark Andrews. And that just shows. Because I was watching the game, I'm like, that oh, wasn't even really, it really didn't hit me until I saw the stats. He only had one catch. Then I, I heard Coach talking about it. Shout out to Coach. I heard Engraven talking about it. Shout out to Engraven. And I'm like, this dude and Joe Noob, I heard him say it as well. I'm like, this dude only got one catch. And last, the, the last year, if Lamar didn't have Mark Andrews, he was in trouble. But this year, you can tell he jailed more with Hollywood with the offseason. He jailed more, period, with his wide receivers. Because he still did his thing. He was that, that, that. Everybody literally caught the ball. We need boy can step up still, but he caught the ball. So this this game, I got Dev. Please let them unleash Dev. Let him do his thing. Him and JK. With that, I'm gonna go to the defense. Last year we had Earl. This year we got Deshaun Elliott. And Deshaun Elliott, to me, in my opinion, he is doing a good job. He's literally, I literally forgot about Earl. I forgot whose stream I was watching. And they mentioned that. It was it was Coach. Coach brought that up. Somebody, I believe, somebody in his chat. And I was like, oh my God. I forgot about Earl. Earl still sitting there at, at home. Showing everybody why he blew the coverage in training camp. But Chuck and and Deshaun is doing a thing in the back. I really haven't seen a lot of blown coverages. Now, that was going against the Browns. Great wide receivers. Um the Houston really didn't get to show their wide receivers because their number one is, I believe, is Fuller. And he was, I forgot he was even in the game, honestly. I was like, oh, yeah, he played? Like, he got shut out that bad where it was just like, instead of 11, it was 10 on the field. Because I didn't even see him out there. But this game will, it's going to test that communication for us, the DBs linebackers all of that defense period is going to test it test a communication because that is one thing patrick mahomes is can do he can make a play longer than it should be and next thing you know someone has a blown coverage 
someone is wide open and that's a huge 45 yard 50 yard pass touchdown give them away just like that and we cannot have that this game but the video is long enough already. My prediction. I have Ravens. 35. Kansas City. 27. 35-27. Y'all tell me what you think. Give me your prediction in the comments. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Share your boy video. Everybody stay safe.